Good day everyone. My name is Ophelia Bagotlo and I work in in Homeless People's Federation Philippines. Payatas is a very big place and lot of urban settlement living in this area. We don't know how long it will take the pandemic and the people lost their job. They cannot go for work. So many people stay in the house. They cannot go out because no transportation. My friend from Nash, uh, Quezon City office told me that if I want to join the project of our city mayor, that is Mayor Joy Belmonte, and I said, what kind of project, project is it? Uh, he told me that it is all about uh, food sustainability, which is our need. Urban farming is a big part of my program, and I know it is a big part of yours as well because I realized food security was the number one issue under the pandemic. Walang makain ang mga tao. And therefore, we are now converting idle lands into farms. And those idle lands, we are converting together with the grassroots uh, women and grassroots organizations. So we start planning together with all the volunteers. We are 63 volunteers in our parishes. It is good thing for me and for my group that a bit far from my place, that is Amlak. We call it Amlak. It's maybe more than one kilometer walking from my place to that place. They allow us to use the place. So what we did is we talked to the owner and then asked the permission of the president of the uh, village that if we can do the gardening in that place. So we start only three women. I asked the priest, the, the parish priest, that if somebody wants to help us, then we will do the gardening at, at the upper side. The father announced that. And then we, we create five groups and 450 square meter lot, backhand lot. It is very good that we grow little by little. We made the uh, organic fertilizer. I myself teach them how to do it because I learned it from my, my friend. Slowly, slowly, the plant grow. Some vegetables we sell, but some we give it to our members to bring it home so that they have food to their table for their family. In 2020, during the height of the pandemic, the city released more than 40,000 seed starter kits to the growing number of interest of women interested in food production. To date, we have 116 community farms that provide nutritious food and additional livelihood to its mostly women farmers and their families. And after that, the mayor is so happy when, he, when she come to our place. She visited us. She can see the people is happy, and happy even though that they don't have work. They lost their job, they don't have enough money, and food is not a problem for us now because the vegetable is there. And the rice, we have a continuous uh, supply of the rice with the mayor. Sometimes the mayor send it to us and uh, the barangay captain. And now in Iloilo, I think Sonia also is telling me that the Iloilo city wants to replicate these things. In one, in one place also in Quezon City, it is District 2, they have 11 hectares of vegetable farm. And one thing, good things that happened to me is the mayor, together with the city councilor, asked me to take the in situ, it is an uh, agro-enterprise, and the next one is organic uh, agriculture production I will take again and then I can give training to the other community that they need. Now I realize that the settlement cannot do it alone in this kind of pandemic. They need to help one another together with the government. We don't need to fight for the government now. We don't need to complain so much for the government. What we need now is help one another. Whatever we need, everything we need, they give it to us. This is one thing that I can say that if 
the government owned, the government or nearby city can do what our mayor did to us. Nobody can, no, no one can get hangry. They can feed their own family, not not need uh, they do not need to have money to go and buy foods for the family but in their own backyard they can get the food the vegetable and everything for the family to eat 